Hello fellow developers, let's dive deep into Tailwind CSS breakpoints. If you have ever wondered how to tweak or redefine those responsive triggers, you are in the right place. By default, Tailwind CSS provides five breakpoints inspired by a common device resolutions. So let's unpack them. So this is what the default breakpoints in Tailwind look like. So you can see we have SM, MD, LG, XL and 2XL. As you can see, SM is triggered at 640 pixels and up and MD is triggered at 768 pixels and up and so on. Each key like SM or MD is labeled for specific minimum screen width. Style within these breakpoints will only be applied once the screen size matches or exceeds the defined pixels. So let's say you have unique requirements. Tailwind lets you fully replace the default with your custom sizes. So let's try that. I already have my project running in local machine in VS Code. So it has only hello world text in it. So open the tailwind.config.js file and in the theme block add another property that is screens and add another object as the value of that property and then type sm576 pixels and let me copy paste it three times. This would be MD LG 1440 and 960. So you can see that this was the default values and now i have customized them with the different values so here we have redefined the small sm breakpoint to start at 576 pixels the md is now 960 pixels and the large lg is 1440 pixels any defaults we did not redefine like xl will be removed so sometimes you only want to change one breakpoint and leaving others intact so to make that possible you will have to add another property inside theme that would be extend so i'm going to cut it and add extend and in the object i will paste the screens and here i will just keep only one lg and you can give it any other value whatever you prefer so let's say i want to use 992 so by using extend key you can override the large lg breakpoint to start at 992 pixels instead other breakpoints remain unchanged. So if you, what if you want to expand your design, if you want to add more breakpoints, you can add larger breakpoint as well. For example, right now, the maximum size of the breakpoint is 2XL. But if you want to add 3XL, you can do that as well. So let's suppose just add 3XL and 1600 pixels so using extend again we are adding 3xl breakpoint that starts from 1600 pixels so let me uh, show you a demo as well by using this breakpoint so go back to your html and here add 3xl and you can see when you type 3 it will show you the suggestion as well that is happening because of the configuration file that you just updated and here i will say that i want to change the text color to red okay you can see that at this size of screen it is showing you the red color of the text but if you reduce the screen width it will change its color so let me show you the size as well so for example you can see that when it touches the 1600 width its color is changed as we have mentioned or uh, defined in this class but if you reduce the width, then it will not apply this style. So next thing is that if you want to add smaller breakpoints or if you implement smaller breakpoints, you will just uh, come in the same tailwind.config.js file and I will remove it for now. And here, let's say I want to add access that is extra small for 75 pixels. And also you need to add this default actually we have to import it as well let me do that first const default theme so we are basically importing the theme require and here add tailwind slash default theme now you can use it default theme dot screens so for smaller breakpoints like access here override the entire screens key and combine with the default screens this ensures breakpoints are sorted correctly 
from smallest to largest so let's test it test it as well sorry i just forgot to add screens here now if you type access it will show you the suggestion and also you can add the condition for the color text yellow this one you can see that it will show the yellow color starting from 475 so if you reduce the width from the 475 then it will show the white color that is a default color but if you increase the width from 475 pixel it will start to show the yellow color tailwind is not strict about naming so let's your creativity fly you can provide custom name as well for the breakpoints in the screens i'm going to remove all of this for now and here i'm going to add tablet 640 pixels laptop 1024 pixels and then desktop 1280 pixels now let us try this in our html so in the html i would add desktop and items start or maybe justify start okay so the meaning of this line is that the screen with the width equal or greater than the desktop breakpoint it will bring everything in the start for the by using flex but if its width is less than the desktop that is 1280 then it will use the default setting for the justify that is justify center so let's try it you can see as soon as my width has reduced from uh, 1280 then it has started to use the default behavior that we have defined in our html similarly you can use others as well so i can use laptop breakpoint so laptop and here you can add item start for the laptop the width is 1024 so let's try to reduce the width less than that amount so you can see as soon as i reduce the width from 1024 then it takes the default alignment vertically that was center similarly for the tablet the the minimum width is 640 pixels so let me try to use that one and this time i would use a different thing for for example tablet and i will use a different background maybe red now you would see that any width that is equal to or greater than tablet it will add the red background for all of those screens but as soon as you reduce the width less than the tablet that is 640 pixels it will automatically revert that style and it will keep the default color that was added earlier for those craving even more control let's delve deeper you can also add max width breakpoint so for that i'm going to remove it for now and here let's add excel and here i will add max one two seven nine pixels okay now let's test it so here instead of defining when styles should start we define when they should end so this style will apply until the screen width is 1279 pixels to test that let me remove the old code that i have added earlier and here let me add excel and bg orange as we can see in our settings the maximum width is 1 to 7 9 pixels that's mean this uh, style that i just added would not be ap applied for the width that are greater than 1 to 7 9 pixels so right now the width is 1995 that's why the color is not visible but if i reduce the width as soon as i reduce it less than the excel screen size then it will start to show my styles that i have defined so let's try you can see as soon as i reduce my width less than the excel screen the color is visible next thing is that you can add fixed range breakpoints as well so for example here instead of excel i would use sm and here i will add minimum and 640 pixels and max 767 pixels so using both minimum and maximum keys styles under this breakpoint will only be applied within the defined range so let's test it here i will add instead of excel i will use sm and now as we have added 640 is the minimum and 767 is maximum so let's reduce the width less than 767 pixels 
and you can see that it is orange and now width is less than 640 pixel that is minimum of the small screen that's why the style is not working okay this is how you can implement the fixed range breakpoints next thing is multi range breakpoints uh, so far we have added only one range for a single breakpoint but it is also possible that you can add multiple ranges for single breakpoint let's say here i'm going to use md and array so earlier we added an object but this time we have added an array so that we could add an array of multiple ranges so here the first object would be a minimum 668 and maximum 767 pixels and here in the second range i would not specify the maximum 868 pixels okay now we have two ranges so if i use this breakpoint then our styles would be applied only if the width of the screen is between these two values uh, 668 or 767 pixels if width is between this range then our styles would be applied or if the width is minimum 867 pixels so if any of these conditions is true then it would start working so let me try it so here i will add md now we will look at our values and test them one by one so let me set the width to 668 pixels in order to apply this style the width should be minimum 668 pixels but if i reduce the width less than this then the style should not be applied as you can see the style is not being applied but if i increase my width then it would keep working until it is 767 pixel but if the width is more than 767 pixels then it will not work so let me add 767 here so it will keep working up to the 767 pixel but if you increase one single pixel further then the style would stop working but if you keep increasing the width and it becomes more or equal to the 868 pixels that is the second range that we have added then it will start working so let's try that we need to set the width to 868 pixels so let's increase it okay you can see that it has entered in the second range and that's why our styles have uh, started to work again in this way you can add as many ranges as you want so after that next thing is custom media queries you can also define custom media queries so for example here instead of this i'm going to remove everything for now and let me add extend here and here i will add screens in the screens i will add a custom name that is tall and here i will add raw and here let me add minimum height is 800 pixels if you need full control you can define your media queries using raw key this particular query targets the screen that are at least 800 pixels tall so let's try that here in, instead of md i will use tall you will see that it will also show you the suggestion if you have installed the extension of tailwind css in vs code so now as we have defined the condition here that minimum height should be 800 pixels but if the height is greater than 800 or equal to the 800 then the style should be applied so right now the height is greater than 800 but if i reduce the height and if i set it less than 800 then the style would stop working you can see that style is being applied and removed so breakpoints are the backbone of responsive design Tailwind CSS hands you the power to fully customize them, dive in, experiment and tailor your projects to perfection. If this in-depth look helped you, consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Until next time, keep coding. Goodbye.